Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Easy and Inspire. In today's session, we are discussing about D flip flop. In previous session, we have seen RS flip flop, which is same as RS latch. This is about D flip flop. We have already discussed D latch in latches. So here, D represents delay or data. Listen carefully. D represents delay or data. So it is called as delay flip flop or data flip flop. It is very widely used in electronic devices because it acts as a delay element and it also acts as zero order and hold element. Listen the word zero order and hold. So this element blocks the input for some time. So for specific amount of time. So it is called as zero order and hold element and delay we know the word delay. So delay element or zero order and hold element. It is the main application of D flip flop. And we know this one. So this also used to store one bit binary data. Listen, it also used it to store one bit binary data. So beyond that, the main applications are delay element and zero order and hold element. This is about D flip flop basics. Okay, next we will see. So D flip flop. So this is the block diagram. So it is nothing but modified version of SR flip flop. SR flip flop is having two inputs, but Delay flip flop is having only one input. So that is nothing but D. So it is directly going to S and inverted input is going to R. So if you want, we can observe in D latch. So this is how a D latch is formed. So observe, this is D latch. So to this D latch, I am applying here a clock pulse. So now it becomes D flip flop. So, D flip flop is having two inputs. One is nothing but the input. Here, I am considering this as input because clock pulse is also very, very important in flip flops. So, either you can take a positive going or negative going. Generally, we consider always a positive going signal as clock pulse. So, observe here carefully. This is positive going. This is negative because 1, 0. It is coming from 1 to 0 because it is negative going. 0 to 1. So, it is positive going. So, generally we consider positive going. You can also consider negative going clock pulses for this D flip flop or any flip flop. Next, we will see construction and logic circuit. So, as we have discussed, D flip flops are constructed by modifying SR flip flop. Generally, so observe, this is SR flip flop. So, in previous class, we have seen SR flip flop. Here, it is S and it is R. So, in previous SR latch, this is our SR flip flop. This is S, this is R. Here, I am taking only a single input for S and R. So, this input is directly going to S. Inverted input is going to R. So, this is D flip flop. So, this is the logic circuit of D flip flop. So, in order to observe the operation, we need to know the truth table of end gate because these two are end gates and these two are NOR gates. Here, I am going to explain the operation of D flip flop. So, listen carefully. So, to perform the operation, you people need end gate root table and NOR gate root table. I have taken NOR and so two values. Same as SR flip flop. So, my suggestion is so, come from latches, observe SR latch, then D latch, after that go to flip flops, okay, okay. So, see here, first of all, again here I am considering positive going clock pulses, listen, positive going clock pulses because consider this is my clock pulse which I have applied to the D flip flop. So, for only positive going clock pulses, the circuit is activated for negative going. So, because 1 to 0, 1 to 0, 1 to 0, because it will draw like this. So, for positive going clock pulses, the circuit is activated. For negative going, the circuit is deactivated. Okay. I am taking like this. Okay. So, this is, see here, like this, because it is positive going. So, if you represent like this, this is negative going. Again, positive going, negative going. So, for these two cases, the circuit is activated. 
for these two cases the circuit is not activated so for positive going i am taking d as 0 for positive going i am taking d as 1 these two are very very important conditions in d flip flop so only for your understanding i am taking these two here okay na okay so i am taking positive clock pulse that is nothing but 1 and d as 0 so d is directly going to here and inverted so 1 here 1 1 1 0 1 1 to end gate so it results 1 so this is 1 1 0 to end gate results 0 so if you observe this is again sr latch so sr latch with 1 0 as input directly you can go there or you can solve here like 1 is 1 input to the nor gate for nor gate 1 is 1 input so observe here we know 1 input we don't know the second input either 0 or 1 the output is 0 so either 0 or 1 the output is 0 again i am taking here 0 0 and 0 to nor gate it represents 1 so output is 0 q is 0 inverse is 1 this is for this first case listen carefully d is 0 and inverted 1 here so clock is 1 because it is positive pulse so 1 is applied here 1 1 to end gate results 1 1 0 to end gate results 0 so 1 input is 0 observe 1 input is 0 so if the second input is 0 it represents 1 if second input is 1 it represents 0 so don't take this one first so take this one one input is 1 either second input is 0 or 1 it results 0 so i have taken this condition first so this result is applied here and 0 and 0 to nor gate gives 1 this is the first operation okay i'll clear all this next one here okay i mentioned this is 0 this is 1 we got like this next it is negative clock pulse so it is nothing but 0 again d is 0 so 0 is directly going to here and 1 here so 1 and 0 here again 0 so 0 and 0 to end gate it results 0 1 and 0 it results 0 so pay attention here again this is sr latch sr latch with 0 0 we know sr latch or sr flip flop with 0 0 condition is nothing but no change condition so no change condition means so output is same as previous output so q is same as previous previous means here 0 here previous is 1 so same as previous outputs so this is about the second case because i am taking here only positive clock pulses positive clock pulses means i am taking one negative clock pulses i am taking zero okay this is about my second operation next we will see third operation i will take different color okay so next one i will get it so i will mention here zero one 0 1 so next one is positive going pulse with 1 so 1 and here 1 1 invert means 0 1 this one is going here 1 1 1 it results 1 here 0 1 results 0 same as this condition so 1 is here so whatever the other input may be it results 0 again 0 i am applying here 0 0 results 1 so again 1 and q bar is 0 so again see here this is negative going pulse so negative going pulse means so it doesn't affect the output again same as previous 1 and 0 so you don't want these two conditions generally so enough these two so observe these two cases data is 0 output is 0 here data is 1 output is 1 
so whatever the input it results in the output so we have already discussed in dlatch dlatch is nothing but transparent latch so observe here zero input zero output one input one output this is about the transparency next we will see the truth table of d flip flop okay so based on these values i am going to draw the flip flop sorry truth table of d flip flop so this is the truth table so observe you have to note here clock pulses first one input output so this is inverse of output or complement of output again state or condition of the flip flop okay first positive clock pulse positive clock pulse so because see here the arrow mark is upside so positive it is negative so we know negative clock pulses do not affect the flip flop so negative clock pulses whatever the input either zero or one it results either zero or one it results so previous values here consider previous is q and it is q bar that is nothing but no change condition in negative clock pulse that is nothing but in deactivated condition in activated condition here observe in activated condition if d is zero output is zero so zero zero so output is zero means it is resetted if d is one output is going to be one that means it is setted observe this is the truth table of d flip flop d is zero means output is zero that is nothing but reset condition d is one output is one that is nothing but setting to one so here it is called as positive going edge or rising edge so for your examinations it is useful so it is positive going edge or rising edge so different terms negative going edge or falling edge so next very very important one characteristic table of d flip flop please pay attention here so truth table comes from the logic diagram characteristic table comes from the truth table we know this is the truth table so again listen here if d equal to 0 state is reset if d equal to 1 state is set so reset means 1 reset means 0 so please pay attention here based on this characteristic table i have writing i am writing like this so if d is equal to 0 listen if d equal to 0 here i am taking two this is present state output next state output so if d equal to 0 it represents reset condition okay if present state output is 0 then next state it depends on this one reset so it is resetted and 0 resetted again it becomes 0 if present output is 1 1 is also resetted listen one is also resetted it becomes zero similarly if d equal to one we know if d is equal to one it is nothing but set state whatever the present output may be it is set it to one listen here i am taking first condition present output zero so it is set to 1 because the characteristic is character is set here i am taking 1 again it is set to 1 because that is the character of d flip flop in this condition in this condition that characteristic is or character is reset here set so the first thing you need to understand here is so the data input and the character again input and the character based on the character the next output is going to be depended this is the characteristic table of d flip flop okay pay attention so i am taking edge trigger d flip flop so we have already discussed flip flops are edge triggered so latches are level triggered okay so flip flop i am taking d flip flop here so d flip flop is having d input and clock pulse so first of all 
always you need to consider clock pulse so consider this is my clock pulse so i have taken only positive going clock pulses but not negative again positive here positive here so the truth table of tick flip flop is positive means i have taken one negative i have taken zero if d is for positive if d is zero output is zero for positive if d equal to one output is one for negative whatever it may be that zero or one it results no change this is the truth table of d flip flop okay now see here first of all i am taking clock pulses here so clock pulse is zero here here one again zero one zero one now here data data is one zero here again zero one zero one one zero always remember first you need to check clock pulse okay clock is zero so clock is zero whatever the input may be either zero or one output is no change consider no change i have taken here zero so it is continuous up to here next clock pulse is positive going so positive going i have considered so positive going clock pulse here the output is going to be changed so how it is going to be changed so clock pulse is one and data is one output is one see here output is also one again clock pulse is zero see here clock pulse is zero so clock pulse is zero whatever the input may be output remains no change no change means same as one see here so it is continued up to next positive clock pulse so up to next positive going okay here again it is going to be changed like so clock pulse is one input is zero output is zero so output becomes zero here again it is continued up to next positive so this is the way you need to draw timing diagram of any flip flop so pay attention so here we are taking only positive going triggers so positive going edges so negative going edges doesn't affect our circuit because it is remains in no change condition so if you know q automatically q bar is exact opposite of q it is zero here it is one one zero zero one so again one here zero exact opposite of q this is about timing diagram of d flip flop and these are the applications of d flip flops in next session we will discuss about jk flip flop okay thank you